Hello everyone, I am Tiffany Starr and you are talking with Tiff. There is a video out there by one Isaac Butterfield where he whines like a bitch over Disney adding a transgender Jedi to the Star Wars universe. Now, if you're unaware who Isaac Butterfield is, then I apologize for enlightening you to his existence. Truth is, I didn't even know who the guy was either. That is, until I discovered this video. Star Wars introduces a transgender Jedi, sporting this terribly dull thumbnail where he laments the existence of diversity. Upon further investigation, I discovered that this Captain Nemo looking motherfucker is a reactionary comedian who has a penchant for tasteless jokes. Jokes about gassing Jews, Muslims, the Christchurch massacre, trans people, homosexuals, all under the guise of comedy. He was so offensive that Netflix canceled his comedy special. Way to shoot your career in the foot, jackass. Predictably, he justifies these jokes the same way every bigoted comedian does. <laughs> Me, racist? Of course not! It's just jokes! Lighten up! It's not like my jokes promote or encourage hate or anything, right? You know, maybe he should crack a few more anti-Semitic jokes on YouTube. That way, YouTube can ban him for violating TOS, and we never have to be subjugated to his crap content again! But before his likely ban, let's watch this video. Because I'm sure it'll be hilarious! <laughs> Right, everybody, it's time for a test. We ready for a test? <laughs> I love tests. Oh geez, memeing right off the bat. I didn't realize as soon as I hit play, I'd be eye-fucked by cringe. Question is, to all of you, and who can answer me first, what does Star Wars need to do to take their films, their franchise, to the next level? That's what I want to know. Is it more like, like amazingly like choreographed like fight scenes? No! Incredible adventures to the outer reaches of space? God, no! Unbelievable like story arcs and characters that are like totally out of this world? Now you're on to something. Wait, all previous and upcoming Star Wars content incorporates everything he just mentioned. New stories, planets, fight scenes, all of it. So why is he saying no, as if Disney will no longer include those elements. Furthermore, how would the inclusion of a trans Jedi obliterate said elements? He's not making any sense right now. What Star Wars needs, kids, one of the oldest franchises and most successful franchises in all of film, what it needs is finally a transgender Jedi. What's with the random cough? Could he have not edited that out? And I mean, why not have a transgender Jedi? More importantly, why the fuck does he care? No one ever says, Why do we need another white male Jedi? And if they did, I'd disagree with them too. Out of all the crazy, weird, and fantastical shit that happens in Star Wars, you think a trans person would be out of place? In a universe with characters like Darth Maul, Ahsoka, Jabba the Hutt, why would it be strange to find a trans person? They have advanced medical centers and can clone people for fuck's sake. And you think they'd have trouble producing hormones and performing gender reaffirming surgeries? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Chances are there are multiple species in Star Wars that are trans, not just the human characters. And trans people exist in real life. So they already have a step up on fictional aliens, which by the way, Isaac Butterfield doesn't seem to mind. So I'll ask again, Isaac, why do you care if trans people exist in the Star Wars universe? Could it be that you're, I don't know, transphobic? Let's find out. Oh, finally! I know it's like 2020 and stuff and it's great and I don't have a problem with it, but why? Did anyone actually ask for it? How dare you ask? Wait, no one asked for any of the characters that exist in Star Wars. George Lucas and the think tanks at Disney made them up. You think anyone asked for Jar Jar Binks? Were people up in arms for them to add a sexually assaulting slug? How many people were clamoring for Platinum Stormtrooper? I really don't understand this guy's arguments. Maybe the creators are open-minded and wanted to create this cool new character who just happens to be trans. Ask why, you cis white male piece of shit! Oh my god, you people make me absolutely get out, ladies and holy shit! The cringe is gonna be non-stop in this video, isn't it? <sighs>
All right, let's keep going. Gentlemen, I hope you're doing not bad. Here's one for you. Lucasfilm reportedly wants to introduce a trans Jedi to the future Star Wars projects. Beast. Thank Christ! Can I just say thank fuck? It's about time! It should have happened years ago. This scene should have been completely different instead of Darth Vader carrying on about gender and telling Luke, who's gender non-binary, that he was his father. He should have definitely said, I am your gender neutral biological provider of sperm cells. <sighs> Which women could also have sperm cells. <sighs> you bigot. Yeah, this video is- Yikes! Coming in hot with the memes in the hunt of the dank variety. Does this imbecile not understand that you can place trans characters in media without them flaunting the fact that they're trans? When's the last time someone here saw a trans person walk into a bank, a Starbucks, or any other public locale shouting, Look at me! I'm trans! Come see how trans I am! I'm the transiest trans that ever trans. The answer is never because we don't do that shit. A lot of us just want to mesh with society and not draw attention to ourselves. So why would he expect a trans character to? Does he think Disney will be incompetent enough to write the character that way? As if they'll be sitting down writing the story like, Then she pulled out her trans color lightsaber and screamed, Suck my dick, which I totally have, doth transphobe. And then she'll grow a lady boner you can see under her robes. <laughs> the only reason I could see trans issues being brought up in the Star Wars universe is if it had to do with medical issues or romantic situations. He's over-exaggerating and being transphobic as fuck here. Unsurprising, really. It's gonna get a whole lot fucking weirder, so stick around. But before we do, this video is brought to you- Oh, no, no, no. No peddling your shit on my channel, you wanker. ...to you by the amazing- Crush organics what the fuck? Are we still on this? Holy fucking shit! What the fuck? How long does this ad have to be? Oh my god, it's still going! Good people, go and check them out. Fucking finally. The only good thing about him shilling is that it ate up two minutes of this eight minute video. I treasure the time I don't have to listen to his grating voice. Speaking of which, Isaac, my accent is way better. Struth. It's a, it's an Australian thing that, no mind. Now before I freak people out about the whole transgender thing, let me just clarify something. I tweeted something the other day about the gender pronouns. People okay. who use he, him, she, her, and they put it in their Twitter yep. bio. Yeah, I ended up in a little argument with this dude because he was talking shit about Joe Rogan. And I said anyone with pronouns in their fucking Twitter bio needs to be lolled at because they're dick slash balls. Now, People freaked out about that. Are you transphobic? Yada yada. First off, Joe Rogan is a transphobe. So defending him doesn't make you look like a non-transphobe. Secondly, yeah, people. This guy, Isaac, he's transphobic as hell. Let's see if he tries the back pedal, though. I'm curious. What I mean by that is this dude right here was talking shit about Joe Rogan. He is obviously a man. He's not trying to transition, he is a man. It's the same with Camilla Harris. She's got she, her in her Twitter bio. The thing is, if you're trying to transition in from male to female, female to male, whatever, and you want to have your gender pronouns there so you can tell people that you're this or you're that, fucking good on you, champ. It helps out, it's great, right? But if you're obviously a fucking fully grown man, it's like me having that mine in there. You know what I fucking am. You know what I've got between my legs. Little fucking what's doing. It doesn't need to be there. Uh, no. If only trans people and non-binary people put pronouns on their profile, then it would be easier to find out who's trans and who is not. Making them easier targets for people like Isaac Butterfield. I've stated this before, but not all trans people want others to know that they're trans. It's called being in stealth. We solid snake that shit. And believe it or not, there are good reasons for non-trans people to put their pronouns in their bio. It shows solidarity with the trans community, that they have our back. Furthermore, not every cisgendered person looks cis. 
Cis people getting mistaken for trans people isn't all that uncommon. There was a viral video where a cis woman was barred from using the women's restroom because the officers didn't believe she was female. So it does make complete sense. Your argument is just shit. What, Isaac, did it take you all of five minutes to come up with this low IQ excuse? I mean, holy shit, you should feel embarrassed. And again, how does this affect you? Why do you care? It's literally inconsequential to you and helpful for us. Is that why it bothers you? You don't want trans people to live easier lives? You know what it is? It's projection. I don't know what's between his legs and I don't want to, but I bet there's a bush like the one hanging from his scraggly face. What an M. Night Shyamalan twist that would be. That's why those type of people are the biggest pieces of shit on earth. And I see this all the time, particularly on Twitter. Someone will be talking shit about me. I go to their profile and it's got she, her, he, him. And I just go, ha, 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 what a fucking wanker. Wait, how does sharing pronouns make you a wanker? Oh my god, this guy is a cringe magnet. He's like a combiner bot from Transformers, sucking up all the nearby cringe to form Cringetron, the ultimate dipshit. By the way, isn't there supposed to be comedy in this video? After all, he is a comedian, right? So where is it? Huh, <laughs> comedian. Could have fooled me. Ever since Disney purchased the Star Wars franchise, the company has done a decent job with improving representation in the series. Oh, thank Christ. The latest trilogy of films was multicultural and with a strong female lead, while Rogue One, a Star Wars story, featured no white male protagonists. Alright, a few things here. Diversity is beneficial to corporations. It increases the likelihood of drawing people into a series they would otherwise ignore. Now, of course they're virtue signaling, but it grants good optics. Not to mention all people have capital to spend, not just cis white, straight, Australian men. So it's in the company's best interest to promote diversity. I don't think studios should boast about their lack of white men though. It draws negative attention from people like Dickless Dingo here, and ironically makes them less diverse. Oh, and can I just say, seeing how there was no white male protagonists in that particular film, I just couldn't watch it, you know? I can't watch shows unless those people look exactly like me. Because I freak out. I can't sit there and listen to a story in that unless they look exactly like me, okay? Alright, this is just rambling nonsense. I play plenty of video games where the main character is by default a white male, and I don't give a shit. A lot of people don't. Sure, there are a few hypersensitive snowflakes that have issues with it, but the majority of us, leftists included, don't mind playing as a white guy once in a while. We just like variety in our games. It's nice to have options, and more game studios are delivering those options. Games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Immortals Phoenix Rising, South Park The Fractured But Whole, Cyberpunk 2077. These are prime examples granting us a plethora of options to make the perfect character we want to play as. Variety is the spice of life, baby. To the point where I can't watch a show unless the dude, a male, is six foot eight and has a beard, all right? I can't even watch the Ned Kelly version that was done by Heath Ledger even though he had a beard but he's slightly shorter than me. Can't do it. Do you know how fucking stupid that sounds? That's how you sound when you say, oh, we need more black people here, Asian people here, white people need to fuck off, we need to put some Hispanic people over there. Just watch the fucking film! I honestly believe he's projecting here because he's the one upset that they're adding a trans Jedi, which, as he said, isn't like him. Therefore, he may not want to watch the movie or show for that reason. Why doesn't he take his own advice and just watch the fucking film with the trans Jedi in it. It's kind of sad, really, that he cares so much about a non-issue that he made an entire video to whine about it. His anti-woke arguments are incoherent and weak. I think he'd benefit heavily from hiring a scriptwriter. God, I hope he doesn't write his own stand-up material. I'll grant him this, though. The memes are pretty fire. Pick the best actors for it. If they are black, brown, white, pick them. Who cares? Exactly! Then why the fuck are you complaining? If it doesn't matter if they're cis or trans, why did you make this brain dead video? What's your contention? You literally just said it doesn't matter. If he truly believed what he just said now, he wouldn't have gone through all the trouble of recording and uploading this poorly made content. He's just upset that the world is getting more diverse. And he feels like white men are losing their grip on power 
which is hilarious when you look at the demographic in charge of the country. Either that, or he's secretly attracted to trans women and ashamed to admit it. Because he thinks it'll make him less masculine, less hetero, or whatever stupid rationale is going on inside his pea-sized brain. So when he sees a sexy-ass trans woman with double-D tits in a tight, low-cut robe doing backflips that occasionally show off a little booty, he can't control his urges. He'll stop furiously masturbating in the theater, Pee Wee Herman style. <sighs> if only closed minds came with closed mouths. But even though Disney is attempting to make the Star Wars universe a diverse place, the series has struggled with LGBTQ plus inclusion. Yet, in a new rumor, it is believed Disney might be adding their first transgender Jedi. I don't know what his complaint is here. Disney is just acknowledging that Star Wars is lacking LGBT characters. And they're trying to rectify that issue. You know what they aren't hurting for in Star Wars, though? Straight white men. He's fine with a hundred of those, but throw in one trans Jedi and he loses his fucking mind. It's a fucking movie. Who gives a fuck if one of the characters is bisexual? That has no impact on the plot. Unless, I don't know, they're trying to blow up the fucking Death Star. I don't know nothing about Star Wars. And you know nothing about trans people. They're trying to blow up the Death Star, and before they can blow up the te Death Star and push the button to blow up the Death Star, they get asked the question. They say, right, you can only push this button if you root Princess Leia, but then you have to root Jar Jar Binks. Right? And then everyone goes, well, I don't want to do that because I'm either gay or I'm straight and I don't want to have sex with both. And then one person in the back puts their hand up and goes, I'm bisexual and I'm included, so I'm going to fuck both of them and then they'll blow up the Death Star. That is the only situation where being bisexual would have anything to do with being on Star Wars. Alright, he's just memeing again. What a shock. Lando Calrissian is pansexual and his sexuality doesn't impact the story in the slightest. None of his shitty hypothetical scenarios are happening in Star Wars movies or TV shows. This guy is downright embarrassing. Hell, I'm starting to feel embarrassed just watching his video. There was plenty of discussions about Star Wars Universe vs. Same Sex Kiss in The Rise of Skywalker, which ended up happening in the background. That was disgusting. They should have been fucking in the foreground. That's what should have been happening. They should have been fucking right in front of RD2T2. I agree. If they were having lesbian sex in the foreground, that would be pretty sweet. Say goodbye to that PG-13 rating, though. And they should have been using R2-D2 as a big old vibrator. That's what should have been happening, even though Disney has attempted to push for inclusivity in the past within the Star Wars franchise, it has been hit or miss. Hopefully, this inclusion will be a way for Star Wars to show just how lovely and diverse the galaxy truly is. I have a question for you. To the trans people out there, I'm sure some of you are watching this. Not just watching, buddy, but recording too. Smile, Neckbeard, you're on my channel now. Now state your dumb fuck question. Does any of you even slightly give a fuck if a Jedi is transgender? I guarantee Whoa there, Isaac, let me answer the question before you immediately cut to more cringe, okay? I think the inclusion of a transgender Jedi is based as hell. I didn't personally ask for a trans Jedi, but why would I refuse their inclusion? Time to answer my question now, Mr. Isaac Butterfield. Why do you not want a trans Jedi? I think we all know the answer to that question. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, that no one does. No one's caring about this. No one's asking for that. Apparently you care. You just made an eight and a half minute video just based on this one fucking subject. I guess six and a half minutes if you count the time he was shilling for whatever company was stupid enough to promote their products on this asshole's channel. But still, you made an entire video dedicated to this topic. You fucking care about it. And the reason is, is because Disney doesn't give a shit. Star Wars don't give a shit. Lucasfilm don't give a shit. They are doing this just to virtue signal to advertisers so they go, hang on, these guys are so inclusive. Let's give them more money to advertise our products with their movie and then everyone makes more money. But guess what? Yeah, that's how businesses work. Welcome to capitalism. Most, if not all, companies virtue signal. That doesn't make it the sole reason for including diversity in media. You do realize there are a ton of trans allies and trans people who work for Disney, right? It's very likely that one or more of them pushed for a trans Jedi. A badass character trans people can look up to while literally harming no one else. I grow weary of this guy's baseless speculation. Nothing happens for the trans people! They get a fucking lightsaber dude 
walking around with a dick and balls and possibly a vagina as well. And that's wonderful. I think they should all have dick, balls and vaginas. Who gives a shit? Wow. Was that meant to be a joke? Holy shit, that was terrible. Not gonna lie though, that last part about everyone having dicks, balls, and vaginas, it's pretty pog. But these things don't happen for you. None of these things that happen in the films or in magazines happen for you. They happen for the people who are trying to promote their product. Don't forget that. All right, he's just repeating himself now. Even if they're trying to just sell a product, that doesn't mean their actions won't benefit trans people. For example, more trans people in media grants more exposure to trans people, which in turn helps erode the stigma surrounding them. A huge series like Star Wars will reach out to a bunch of people who may not know much about the trans community. There's literally no downside to this. Honestly, Isaac, I think making this video was a terrible mistake. You don't possess the critical thinking skills required to make a cohesive argument against trans people existing in Star Wars. All right, that's the end of this pointless video. What a waste of my time and yours. Do yourself a favor, don't watch or subscribe to Isaac Butterfield. His content is designed to make you lose brain cells. Subscribing to me though is based as hell. Thanks for watching and before I go, I just wanna say I don't hate Isaac, but if he were on fire and I had water, I'd drink it. <laughs>